This is my friend, Ricky. Okay, thank you for allowing me to speak. Um, as Ben said, I've got a presentation and it will be available, but I was actually born with a vision impairment. I had a really, really bad, humiliating birth, which has caused vision impairment and very slight cognitive impairments. I went through mainstream schooling where I was bullied and humiliated. Been called four eyes and all kinds of other names. I had pencil cases and bags thrown out of windows and doors and all sorts of stuff and food thrown at me. This was up in the country. I was up in Sheridan from the age of seven and then when I finished high school there really wasn't a lot of job opportunities up there. So um, anyway, Dad, through work, moved back to Melbourne and I did a number of courses. I did community service courses, leadership class and um, community development courses. I've had two paid jobs in my entire life. My first one, when I was diagnosed legally blind, later on in life, like I was on a disability support pension from the age of 19, but when I was 23, I think it was, I was put on a blind pension and the, the NRVIB said they had a community jobs program where we, the then Steve Brax government allowed us to have 16 weeks paid work to get some work history. Then again in 2013 I had a paid job at Vic Roads in the licensing and registration service where at the end of the financial year I was made redundant because I was a casual worker, yes, we've already spoken about that, a lot of people are in insecure casual work these days and I didn't have a leg to stand on because other people were um, retrenched as well and there was nothing that could be done about it. Um, aside from all my study and those two paid jobs, I've had lots of volunteer work within Greet um, Media doing TV, um, radio, um, mentoring people with um, disabil dis disab disabilities, being part of social impact and after hours where it's, I call it like the Truman Show where um, people learn social skills in a safe, um, secluded um, environment and they're able to use these tools to go out into the real world and develop social skills with other people. Um, this is why I needed my actual presentation so that everything will flow. I totally didn't even say the fact that for the last 10, 12 years, maybe even longer, mum and dad have really wanted me out of home. And they're actively looking for a place for me to live. And they may help, they, they could help me a little bit financially, but it is so screwed up and so chucky bullshit. Excuse my language. The fact that I can't get a job because the boys look down at me because I have a vision impairment. I have a disability, a disability and I can't work as well as people who haven't got a dis disability, which is absolute crap. And I've got a part that the most beautiful boyfriend in the world. And when I knew that if I was going to put more financial pressure on him, how are we supposed to be able to go out to the footy? Go out and do the have a reasonable life with my pension is tied into bills and rent and food. You just don't have a quality of life. I need a job. Give me a bloody job because I can't work. Wonderful. <laughs> Um, 
Uh, jobs that I've applied for, I reckon I've had hundreds of, uh, like I reckon I've had probably 150 interviews this year. They just don't care. And it's an insult. It really is an insult. Thank you for being so brave. She's amazing. Yes. In my presentation, I've given people hope and hope. I think you have got an awesome con um, con 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 conclusion where I've said that um, people's quality of life should be more than just being able to put food on the table and yep. this. I, I, I don't know. But you've just got to access the presentation because it's bloody brilliant. Because I'm bloody brilliant. She's amazing. Thank you so much, Ricky. That was inarguable.